All right, June 21st, summer solstice. What better way to start the longest day of the year than teeing off uh, at 7 in the morning? I got one of the first tee times on the sheet. Uh, I haven't broken 80 this year. I've had several 80s, 81s, uh, but nothing in the 70s in, uh, in the month or two I've been playing this year. So I really want to get one at 79 or better today. So let's see if I get some solstice luck. So I'm playing the uh, lake slopes here at Glencoe today, uh, playing blacks. About 6,700 yards today. And uh, nice and warm. Good start to the day, even though it's early. First hole is 400 yards and just uh, just pulled this one a little bit and drawing just kind of down the left-hand side. Should be open over there. And it just poured rain all Saturday and then was super hot Sunday and today, so the grass grew like 10 inches. Like, this is like, I mean, not... As bad as the US Open but it's uh, it's long it's thick and I'm gonna have some trouble with that today so got it up uh, under the green it's only about 90 yards uh, left about a 20 footer here probably one of the easier putts you're gonna find on the first green here uh, nice easy pin right in the middle not too many ridges or gullies to deal with there's a uh, there's some pretty nasty pins No problem, lagged it up there and uh, cleaned up for a par. Second hole, playing uh, about 4.10 today. Just want to aim over those bunkers on the right and uh, hit a great one here, nice and high. Heading right down the right-hand side, should give me a good angle. And uh, just got a little unlucky. This rolled like eight inches into the rough. And again, it's super long. It's wet from the morning dew ball sitting down got about 100 yards and uh, just the rough grabs that uh, club face and just pull this a little left but it's on the green and uh, tough putt there's a that spine that runs from the front to the back of the green and I'm on one side the flags on the other so I gotta come uh, uphill up this spine it's going to kick it to the left and then uh, it's going to go over and start working its way downhill and break into the right so double breaker uphill downhill uh, about 30 35 feet nothing fun about this there it goes to the left over the ridge back down to the right and perfect leg tap that in for a par Third hole, par five, playing 540 today. They got the tee box kind of moved over to the right side of the box. So I normally like to uh, go over that tall tree, but just with the angle of the box, I'm just gonna try to hit a straight one just down the fairway. And uh, that's perfect. It's gonna leave me a nice one to go at this in two. About 7.30 in the morning right now, just completely still, no wind, nice and warm. Gorgeous day here. So I've got about 240 for my second. You can't see him. I tried a lower cam camera angle here, and uh, it's full carry. The, the pin's on the left, so I got a full carry over this water, and there's a bunker. And kind of had a decent hybrid, a little low, but it's, uh, it's getting up there. And looked like it just kicked off the side of the bunker, so uh, flirting with uh, the pond there. Here's what I had to deal with. All that water left, this big trap, and the pin's tucked right there in there, so it was all carry the whole way. And I think it just landed a few yards short, just left of the bunker there, and luckily kicked to the left and stayed up. So uh, got away with one there. So chip doesn't look actually too bad for my third here. Just got to let this land and... Dribble on, this is a pretty fast green. Pulled my 58, trying to stop it. It just flew that a little bit too far. It's gonna roll by about eight, nine feet just out of frame there. Got a decent look at birdie here, and this is this has gotta break to the right just a touch. So played this a few inches out to the left, and it just held its line. No birdie today. Another par. Number four, par three. It's only playing 160 today, even though the tee box is way in the back alternate box here. I'm usually hitting a six iron or a five iron from here, but the, the pin's way at the front. 
So it's playing about 165 and uh, it should be an eight iron. Uh, but if it starts leaking to the right, uh, that water runs away from it. So uh, just try to hit a nice one here and push it out a little bit. So just hoping it gets into that bunker and it does, covers the water. So in that, uh, in that right trap there. But got a really tough bunker shot. The lie's great. I'm at the bottom of the bunker, but it's hard to tell on the camera. But this green is sloping to the right side of the frame towards the bunker and towards the camera. So it's downhill. So if I go at the pin, it's going to land downhill, break to the right. This could this could roll off the green or even back into the other bunker. So uh, I got to play this out to the left of the flag stick here and uh, let it come down the hill. Just hit a perfect bunker shot. It's going to be a little bit of a slippery putt though, about five feet there, uh, downhill. Now you can really see the angle of the green. If you look at the back of the green, you can see how much higher it is. This whole green slopes. So, uh, got to just breathe on this thing, let gravity do its work. And, uh, it's probably going to break to, uh, my left a bit. So I'm just going to, just going to aim kind of inside right edge here and hope it holds its line. Yeah, great, Sandy. Save the par. Number five, such a tricky driving hole when the tee boxes are all the way back here. It's playing 390 today. Uh, dog leg left, water all down the left side. So I'm just kind of aiming off the uh, left edge of that bunker. Uh, I want to hit a little bit of a draw and hit a nice one. This is drawing, but it's heading towards the left-hand side, just hoping this manages to stay in the fairway. Everything on the left, it slopes to the water too, so... Uh, it can get uh, a little scary over there and uh, sure enough this landed on the fairway bounced onto that slope and just trickled down into that water it's too bad that's a bad break and there it is what makes that really tough then is I've got to take a drop here but because that bank is so steep drop it here and my feet are you know good 8 12 inches below the ball here pins tucked way left all carry over the water about 90 yards um, really delicate tough shot and just catch this a touch fat and it pushes it out to the right uh, near the corner of the green there so i'm laying three i really need to get this up and down save a bogey here and uh, this green's fast it's downhill where it's landing and uh, i just carry this a little bit too far lands on the green but rolls uh, up into the back fringe there so really wanted to leave this one short and have an uphill putt but now i've got a about a 10 foot downhill putt that's breaking definitely not where i wanted to be uh to save a bogey and this is going to have a ton of break in you can see how far to my left here i'm aiming and this thing just starts curving in and i thought i had it and just grabs the lip and bad double so after making double I go to number six and again it's on the alternate box way back this thing is playing 235 today all that water left big bunker right like this is just a beast when it's this far back so I pull a four iron aiming just at the left edge of that bunker and uh, looks like it's just gonna catch into the bunker there but that's okay it's uh, way better than in the pond I mean look at that it's an extra 50 yards from the blue it's this hole's just a beast and here's that second little uh, cut in of the water there. There's just no room on the left-hand side of the green. It all slopes down. Anything on the left-hand uh, left side is going to kick and hit down into the pond. Just a really tough shot. Uh, but I'm safe. I'm dry. I'm in the bunker. Got a good lie. Uh, but the pin's sitting in a, in a bowl at the back there. And uh, it's all downhill as soon as it comes out of the bunker. And then there's a spine. So I got to land this on the down slope, hope it kicks forward because uh, if it doesn't make that spine, it's going to start curling left and go all the way back to the middle of the green here. So this is super tricky. Hit it perfect, landed on the down slope. There it goes left on the spine and just trying to hang on. Don't go left. And yeah, it falls down to the right and starts working its way to the hole. So that was, that was great. Uh, really, really want to make this par after that double. Uh, got about five feet left. It's got some break in it. You can see that downslope in the fore foreground of the picture here. That's that's where it landed and, and kicked out. This was a this was a tough shot. So all I'm thinking here is make this putt. Don't make a bogey after that double. A little bit downhill. A little bit of break. 
just hit it pure. Got it. That's where the fist pump. All right, number seven, par five. We want to make a birdie here, make up for that double. So this is just, this is go time. Aim down the left, a little bit of a draw and just bombs away here. And just hit that perfect. Right down the left hand side, drawing was going to be deep. And uh, got a little unlucky again. It just scooted off the fairway into the first cut. Um, but I had this shot last week. I was about 15 yards ahead, and I made it to the green. I'm about 290 now. It was only about 275 that time, so I don't think I can quite get it there, but uh, should be able to get it to the front. Filming in 4K60 so I can slow this down a bit and just roasted that hybrid. Heading right towards the green, but you know, based on last week, I think it was going to be about 10 yards, maybe 15 yards short. It's 290 out. It's hard to, pretty hard to get there with a hybrid. Yeah, just as I thought, about 10 yards, 12 yards short of the green here. Pin is uh, up on the back tier, so I'm thinking I can fly this onto the green, and uh, it should kill most of its speed as it uh, rolls up that slope. Hopefully get this close. Tap it in for bird. And this chip, too, I just carried it just a little far, and it didn't really slow down on the slope, but the green's real fast. And super bad break, just rolls off like six inches into that deep rough again, like this rough is killing me today. So uh, just gotta hit a gentle bump and run down the hill. It's down downhill the whole way, and uh, I'm not sure how I left that short. Uh, now I got a tricky, uh, about a eight footer downhill to save par. Not, uh, not what I had planned on the tee box. Pretty straight, little bit of right to left in it, uh, but it's downhill, so it's slippery. All right, that's worth another fist pump. Putter's working today. Eighth hole, par three, 200 yards, but the pin's up front, so it's measured at 190. Uh, this is just a concentration error here. Uh, the, the green slopes from front up to the back, so should have just pulled a six iron here and coming up a few yards short uh, would leave, leave me an uphill putt from the fringe. That would be the play, but I pulled a five, thinking hit a soft five, and I absolutely just roasted this thing. Just a nice high draw, but this thing carried 210 right to the back. And again, just lands in that long rough and stays right there. So going to have a really tricky chip coming back down. Um, and again, I'm sitting deep in the rough. This is downhill the whole way, up a tier. And then when it makes that last ridge, it's even steeper down to the front of the green here. So uh, this is this is really tricky. Uh, definitely was between clubs, should have pulled a six and left this short, had a little uphill putt, but let's see if I can just cozy this up there, but this is, uh, this is really fast, and that rough isn't helping, and thought I hit a good one, climbed up that last ridge, and then just takes off, there's nothing stopping this, rolls out about 10 feet just to the front fringe, this is where I should have left my tee shot, had a nice little uphill one here, but uh, let's see if I can salvage a par here. This should move a little to the left and uh, as it climbs it kind of holds its line. It's too bad. Bogey. Ninth hole, short par four, water all the way down the left. This is just a nice little hybrid towards those bunkers and I just didn't commit to the shot here. I uh, should have should have just blasted it and I took too much off and came over to the top and just kind of pushed this out and slicing right uh, down the tree line and actually ended up just over the trees. It's no problem. It's a fairway there on the 10th hole, but I had nothing. I couldn't punch out, couldn't get back to my fairway, but no one was on the 10th hole. So I just took a little wedge, played up the 10th, because I know those trees end there, and uh, left me with a nice angle to the green here uh, for my third shot. Got to land it uh, on those mounds and let it dribble down and hit it, hit it perfect. Landed right on top of the hill and uh, rolled down the mound, um, 
question is how far. So there's that mound looking back. It's shaved. Uh, it's downhill all the way. So that picked up some speed and just rolled out about uh, 15 feet past the pin here. So leaving me uh, another testy one for my par. So this is uphill, should move a little to the right. I'm just aiming uh, maybe two, three balls out to the left and just get the pace right coming back up the hill. And it came in about two balls. Just put it a little too far out to the left. Bogey, so that's four over, it's par 35 from the three par threes, so 39 on the front. Going to have to uh, put a nice one together on the back to uh, break 80 here. Tenth hole, it's up on the elevated tee box today. Love this tee box, just let her rip. I had a nice one right at the bunker. About 310 yards and just got unlucky. Again, just rolls in like a yard into this rough. Um, 200 out, this is a 500 yard par four, super hard. Uh, so I got a five iron, but it's sitting down in that rough and uh, it's still wet and it's just rough, just grabs it. And this thing comes out left and low, uh, get it up there to the green, but it's on the left hand side. So got to search for it and it's in this junk, super deep. It's sitting way down in the bottom. Uh, so I've, I've really got nothing. I just got to stab at this. I can't hit it too hard and I'm just really not sure how it's going to come out. I don't want to air mail it over the green there's water back there so just took a chunk at it and got it out into that first cut so got another uh testy little one here to save bogey uh, i've hit two of these chips a little long today so just trying not to carry this one too far just past the fringe there and thought i hit a good one landed just under the green and it just takes off it's just from this rough there's less spin on the ball so that that rolls out like a good 20 feet uh, so I've got a huge, nasty putt here to save uh, a bogey. Again, not where I want to be. A little downhill, breaking a little to my left, and hit a great putt. Thought I had it and just came up a few revolutions short. Double bogey. All right, let's make it up here. Number two, 441. Dog leg left, just blasted at the corner, and this one's perfect over the trees and right to the middle of the fairway. Should leave me in a good spot for my approach. I'm right here at the 150 stone, but that flag is all the way back and the green's elevated, so this is playing like 165. Thought about an eight iron, but just don't want to be long here today, so took a nine and just want to hoist it. And uh, hit a nice one, nice high draw, just on the left-hand side of the green there. Maybe I can get one back. But I uh, just got a little unlucky here and just rolled off onto the, onto the fringe. And I'm in a bit of a gully, so i got to come uphill in the fringe, and then it's downhill on the green. It should be breaking left as it climbs the hill in, in the fringe here, and then it'll hit the green. And I'm kind of right on my spine here, so if I get it on the right side, it should work its way left to the flag. Um, but if it doesn't break enough, it's going to kick it to the right. And uh, this stayed straight through the fringe, so when it got onto the green, it didn't take the right uh, angle and just kind of kicked off to the right, left me about a seven footer to save par here. Trying a new camera angle. Do not want a bogey after that double. Gotta drain this. Perfect. Number three, par three, boxes all the way at the back today. It's playing about 215. Pulled a five iron, pins uh, on the back left there. And uh, just pulled this one slightly, and it's drawing a bit uh, just down the left-hand side. But there's a gap there. There's, there's only those two trees, and there's a big gap. So as long as I get in that. Um, so I did avoid the trees. I got a good angle here, but terrible chip. Uh, you can't see it, but it's all bunker. Um, right right off the green there and it's all downhill green slopes away from me so I 
can't aim left of the pin, could land in the bunker. So I got to aim right at the pin, hopefully land this in the fringe. And uh, yeah, it did just that, um, but it's a downhill away from the uh, fringe there. So this rolled out about 20 feet. Got a long one here for my par. when he hits this thing. <laughs> I love that meme, so epic. Uh, anyways, next hole, dog leg right, just hit a high cut over those bunkers and this just started a little too right and was cutting a little too much. Just gonna be down the tree line there. Probably gonna be in trouble. And uh, yeah, I got nothing. I can't get to the green. I can't punch out forward uh, in case it hits the, uh, the curb or the cart path there. So I just gotta punch out sideways here back into the fairway, but I'm, I'm close up, I'm right by the hole. So. Uh, chance to get up and down here but again I'm sitting in that thick rough uh, I gotta flop this on and uh, this green slopes away from me so this is gonna be super hard to stop and this just comes out just a little left but gets over the bunker lands soft uh, but there's nothing stopping it it just rolls all the way to the back so uh, another uh, 20 footer here for par making myself work today And hit a decent roll, just uh, comes up about three feet short. Clean that up for a bogey. Fifth hole, par three, playing about 180 today. Pin is way back left, uh, and everything left of that is is death. So I'm aiming at the center of the green here. And uh, started on a good line, but was just cutting a little too much. And looks like it's going to head into that bunker, which is... Uh, an okay place to leave it. It's a pretty decent bunker. It's got a good lie, uh, but it's all downhill as soon as it comes out of the bunker and then the green is sloping uh, to the back towards that pin. So got to be uh, pretty delicate with this one. Pulled a 58 and just want to just want to pop this up and land it in the fringe. Had a great shot. And it's feeding towards the flag and just kind of runs out of steam there. Got about 12 feet here to save my par. Would be a really nice sandy after that. And it's downhill and I just didn't quite hit it hard enough. Pretty slippery. Bogey. All right, number six, playing 3.30 today. Dog leg left, way up on the cliff here. Uh, you can lay this up, but I like to just bomb a driver. I can, I can hit this one pretty close to the green and Slow this one down. Perfect. Nice high draw. This one flew 325. Landed uh, pin high just right of the green. Takes out a lot of trouble. So it's elevated green here. I'm got a good lie here. It's for once it's not sitting down and a pin high. Just gotta flop this back up under the green and two putts, get my par and get out of here. Hit a nice one right at the pin. This probably just carried uh, a few yards too far. But uh, got a decent look at birdie here. About uh, 10, 11 feet. It's a little bit downhill and it's going to be breaking to my right. And uh, just didn't quite hit this uh, high enough. Going to miss it on the low side here. That's okay. Par on this hole is a good score. Number seven, par five, playing 570. Haven't had a birdie today. This is the place to get it. Just bombs away. Slow this one down too. Just roasted down the right-hand side. Another high draw. It's gonna put me in a good spot. I'm about 255 out, uh, but just at the angle with that pin with the water and the bunker where it is, um, decided I'm not going to go for it. I'm just going to aim up the right-hand side of the green, um, maybe get it there, maybe into those traps, which would be fine. They're not deep bunkers. Slow this one down and just a perfect hybrid here. 
nice high draw just at the right hand side of the green there I think I might have made the trap that would be that would be okay just another unlucky leaf here didn't didn't get the trap just right over it settle down into the rough here so I got to fly this bunker land on the green and again I don't want to hit this one too far I've carried these too far all day so uh, and the rough just grabbed this one, came up a little short and didn't quite make the ridge to get down to the uh, flag there. So uh, I've got a tricky 20 footer down the hill here for birdie. It's going to start breaking and turning and uh, pretty close. Another tap and par. Can't argue with it, but really wanted the bird there. All right, I'm going to go to the 17th tee and the battery on the camera died, which was crazy. It usually holds out the round no problem. Um, just needed uh, to shoot one over in the last two holes for a 79, and I made a nasty double. So here I am on the 18th tee, I pulled up my iPhone, and uh, I need a birdie now for a 79. And just roasted a drive right down the left-hand side, avoids all the water. Step one. And just again, another unlucky break, just rolled a little out of the fairway here into the rough. It's sitting down, got about 90 yards to the pin there and uh, hit a good one, nice and high, just working about 20 feet left of the flag here, lands but grabs the slope and starts working all the way close to the pin. Um, got about six feet left for that bird, uh, but it's downhill, it's gonna be breaking uh, to my left and I got to hit this so soft, just breathing on it. So I don't want to miss this on the uh, on the low side. Um, so I'm aiming kind of right edge, hoping that uh, as gravity takes this thing, it just moves back towards the center of their cup. And it just doesn't come. It holds its line, just misses. Tap and par for an 80. Let's try again for that 79. 